What's good, Bass Drop Militia? Bass Drop Keys here. I'm your friendly neighborhood Negro, and welcome to another episode of Good Eats. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a Betty Crocker super moist two layer devil's food cake with chocolate frosting. Say that three times fast. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's do it. All right, guys, so for the most part, we're gonna be following the directions that's on the back of the box. We're gonna be using eggs, water, vegetable oil, or in case infused coconut oil, eggs, and a beater, a hand beater. And also we have some cake pans as well. Very simple. The reason why we're doing this is because as you guys know on the Good Eats 420, I'm trying to show you guys that you know we make a lot of things from scratch. Also, we do some box things. Also, we do some things that's already prepared. I'm trying to show you that you can medicate everything. So let's go ahead and get into this. The first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's a shiny metal or a glass pan, or 325 degrees Fahrenheit for a dark or nonstick pan. First of all, we're gonna take our bowl, we're gonna take our cake mix, we're gonna take the water, the oil. This is, this is infused. If you don't want to medicate your cake, then just put regular vegetable oil in there and our eggs in a large bowl. And we're gonna take our hand mixer and we're going to actually mix this together for two minutes. Very nice. Now, we're doing a two layer cake. So what you see here, I'm repeating twice because we're doing a two layer cake. Once you do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and just pour it into your cake pan. As I said before, you're going to grease the sides and the bottom. What I'm, what I'm using to grease this is a spray. This is uh, some you know nonstick spray right here that I'm using. Go ahead and pour in your cake batter. And basically that's it. I did put a little vanilla in here just to kick it up. I forgot to mention that earlier, but I did put in some vanilla, uh, half a teaspoon of vanilla in each cake just to kick it up some. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put that into the oven. So now we're getting ready to do our frosting. While that's in the oven, we're gonna place that in the oven for 25 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. I ended up uh, actually baking this for 28 minutes. But what we're gonna do now while that's in the oven is we're gonna take our frosting. This is the chocolate frosting, rich and creamy frosting from um, Betty Crocker. And we're gonna actually put this in a bowl. I wanna medicate the frosting as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a quarter cup of that uh, infused oil and we're going to put that in a bowl and we're just going to whip this with the, with the hand mixer. Once again, if you don't want this medicated, you don't have to put any oil in here. If you just want to whip up your frosting, as you can see what it's doing, it makes it a lot better. So that's a little tip for you guys. Don't use the frosting right out of the can. Take it out, put it in a bowl, whip it up, and it'll be better. But I'm whipping mine up with, you know, that infused coconut oil so that everything will be infused. All right, so it's been 28 minutes, and I'm taking the two cakes out of the oven, turning the oven off, obviously. Very nice. As you can see, they're puffed up some. Let me get you a close-up picture of it real quick here. Very nice. Look at this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually let them rest for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and let them rest for 10 minutes, no problem. All right, great. So now, it's time for us to frost this up. Obviously, if you look at the top of this, it's not gonna, if we, you know, we take this off and try to put it down on our cake pan, it's not going to, you know, sit the right way. So what we have to do is we have to slice the top of this. So very easy, you just take a knife, 
uh, slice it in the top and then just spin it around and then you can actually take the top off of it no problem then just flip it upside down because we sprayed that nonstick spray you don't have to worry about it sticking it's going to come off you're going to put it down on your cake pan center it and bam look how nice this is now we're ready to go ahead and uh, put that frosting on there remember we medicated that frosted up if you don't want to medicate it, just whip up your frosting. Put some on there. I'm using the spatula right here. Spread it around the top. Make sure you get the edges all the way around the whole cake now. Make sure you get the entire. You don't want anybody getting like a piece with no chocolate on it. So make sure you get the whole thing, the top and the, uh, the side edges as well. You're going to repeat the same process with the second layer. Cut the top off. Set that to the side. It's going to make a great snack. So you don't even have to cut into your, your actual cake. Great snack. Um, Cause you know that is medicated, so we're not throwing anything away. You better believe that. You know, grab some ice cream, a little bit of chocolate. You got a great treat right there. Put the frosting on the top of the second layer. Make sure you do the edges and then, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna actually combine the two layers together with the chocolate. So, you know, take your time, there's no rush. The main thing is making sure that they cool down all the way. That's the main thing. Making sure that before you start doing this, let them cool down all the way. I actually, you know, you're supposed to let them rest for like 10, 15 minutes. I actually let them rest for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, because I was, you know, recording another video. And so it doesn't do them uh, any harm by just letting them rest. You want to make sure they're cool all the way before you start doing all this. Because if you don't, whenever you start frosting it, the frosting is going to start melting. And that's not what you want. So make sure they're uh, fully cool. Combine it together with the frosting, the two layers, and voila. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Amazing, fantastic, look at this. Betty Crocker, devil's food cake, chocolate frosting, medicated two layers. It don't get no better than this. It don't get no better than this. Goodness gracious. After this video, if you guys uh, follow me on Facebook, the Bass Drop Militia page on Facebook, I actually, uh, the piece that we cut, I actually ate this live. And let me tell you something, 30 minutes after that, I was down for the count. Strong, strong, strong edible cake. I love it. So guys, I hope this helped you. You guys know we do stuff from a box. So you already know in a couple days, you're going to see a medicated cake made from scratch. Cause that's how we do it. Thanks so much for watching. Give me the thumbs up. If this video helped you, I really appreciate it. It does help a lot. Give me the thumbs up. Check out all the videos that's on the Good Eats 420 playlist. This is number 51. That means there was 50 before this. All of them you can find helpful. Thank you so much for everything, guys. And until next time, this is Bass Drop Keys, your friendly neighborhood Negro, signing out. Peace and good eats.